Endeavour, on at the 90. On at the 90. Touchdown. Deploying of the drag shoe to delay to assess the, the conditions of the crosswinds on the orbiter as it rolls out on the uh, runway. 1-5 at the Kennedy Space Center wrapping up a nearly 5.3 million mile mission. Endeavor returning the first educator mission specialist Barbara Morgan to Earth to begin the next step in her journey to inspire future generations to explore, learn, and build a better future. Touchdown. Point Dexter now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Atlantis rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 5.3 million mile mission to expand the global village of space. Dan Tawney, home after 120 days in orbit. Altitude 12,000 feet. Houston, 
Atlantis. Field inside at 10,000 feet. Copy, field in sight. Field in sight. Field in sight. Seven thousand feet. Four thousand feet. Two thousand feet. Commander Scott Altman beginning to uh, flare out the uh, vehicle, pitch the nose up as he approaches uh, runway two two from the northeast. Three hundred feet. Uh, landing gear down. Touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis is rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, completing 197 orbits of the Earth while traveling 5,276,000 miles. This landing marks the 53rd shuttle mission to end at Edwards Air Force Base. Atlanta spent seven days servicing the Hubble Space Telescope that included five spacewalks, totaling a record 37 hours. Atlantis has completed its 30th mission and the 126th in the history of the Space Shuttle program. The Hubble Space Telescope's final servicing mission is complete, but its mission of discovery is just beginning. Speed 350 miles an hour. Altitude 2,000 feet.
turn the gear down. Gear down and lock. Touchdown. Shoe for help slow endeavor on the runway. Nose gear touchdown. Final reveal for Endeavor's home improvement to the International Space Station mission is now complete. 124th Space Shuttle mission, 27th Shuttle mission of the station, and the 22nd mission for Endeavor. We'll stop Endeavor. Welcome back. That was a great way to finish a fantastic flight for you. Kevin Ford in control of the stick at this moment. Pre-flare maneuver conducted. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Kevin Ford now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, California, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to resupply and fortify the International Space Station. Tim Cobra home after 58 days in space. Nose gear touchdown. Lucas 
now rolling out on runway 33 at Kennedy Space Center. Wrapping up a 4,490,138 mile flight to the International Space Station. One minute now to touch down. Discovery's landing gear will be locked down and into place at 300 feet in altitude. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. Thirty seconds until touchdown. Landing gear. Landing gear now down and off. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag shoe. Nose gear touchdown. That brings an end to the STS 131 mission, the 131st space shuttle flight, and the 33rd to the International Space Station. Discovery left Florida on April 5th with 7.6 tons of new science equipment and spare parts, including equipment that should improve the station's capability for Earth observation work, equipment that could help astronauts avoid muscle atrophy, and scientists better understand muscle atrophy, and equipment that will help keep the station systems cooling properly. Space Shuttle Atlantis is now traveling 389 miles per hour. It is now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times steeper than a commercial airliner. Its angle of attack more than seven times steeper. Now under one minute to go in Atlantis's flight. Atlantis now beginning what is known as the pre-flare maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. It's speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis' nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time in 25 years. 32 flights and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. Space Center, just more than 30 seconds to go. Discovery gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. The nose of the 
shuttle being rotated down toward the flight deck. The parachute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown in the end of a historic journey. And to the ship that has led the way time and time again, we say farewell, Discovery. journey of six and a half million miles, Endeavour landing in darkness, but illuminated by the ingenuity, dedication of every astronaut, scientist, engineer, flight controller, mechanic, and dreamer that helped it fly. Fleet's youngest ship completing its 122 millionth mile after its crew delivered an instrument to the International Space Station will sift through the cosmic darkness for years to come. Houston, Endeavour, we'll stop. 122 million miles flown during 25 challenging space flights. Your landing ends a vibrant legacy for this amazing vehicle that will long be remembered. Welcome home, Endeavour. Yeah, thank you, Houston. You know, the space shuttle is an amazing vehicle to fly through the atmosphere. Hit it at Mach 25. Uh, I mean, steer through the atmosphere like an airplane, land on a runway. It is really, really an incredible ship. On behalf of my entire crew, I want to thank every person that's worked for to get this mission going and every person that's worked on Endeavor. Um, it's sad to see her land for the last time, uh, but she really has a great legacy. And so the Space Shuttle Endeavour touching down at Kennedy Space Center uh, on time at uh, 1.35 a.m. Central Time, 2.35 a.m. Eastern. Commander Mark Kelly guiding it to a uh, very gentle touchdown on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center Shuttle landing facility. The pre-flare maneuver executed. Landing here down a lot. Main gear touchdown. Early now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time, its voyage at an end. Place in history and it's come to a final stop.